When you draw something, for example a portrait, you might think that you're drawing an eye or a nose. But what you're actually doing is drawing the effect of light on these forms that we call noses and eyes. There's a reason behind everything you see, and these reasons can be understood. That's precisely what this course is about. The fundamental distinction we make at the beginning is the distinction between light and shadow. You can think of this as two countries, the country of light and the country of shadow. There's a border separating these two countries. Unfortunately, there are many different names people use for this border. Some call it shadow line or shadow edge, some call it bed bug line, and some even call it core shadow, which is a good approximation, but not quite accurate. I personally really like the word terminator. This is what astronomers call the dividing line on a planet between the dark side and the illuminated side. I like the word terminator because it reminds me that the light terminates at some specific point on the surface. Let me show you what I mean. Let's move the camera so that we can see what the light can see. You might notice that there's no shadow on this head right now. That's because what the light sees is, by definition, illuminated. It is in light. We are now looking at the lit side of this head. If we leave the light at the same position, but move the camera a little bit to the side, we can see the shadow again. This means that the terminator marks the boundary of an area that the light sees in quotes. What the light can't see is what falls into shadow. For any given light source, there's no ambiguity about this. Either something is in light, or it's in shadow. Let's look at this drawing again. I hope you agree that the sense of light and the sense of form are working fairly well. This is because I chose to pay close attention to finding the terminator and maintaining a clear separation between light and shadow. Once this first step was achieved, I was able to systematically take the drawing further by using more advanced light effects. Are you ready to learn how to do this? Well, tighten your seatbelt, because we're about to go deep. May I introduce to you the sphere. It will help us to create realism by understanding light effects. Since we were just talking about the Terminator, can you find it on the sphere? It's right here separating light and shadow. The part of an object that is in light is called form light, whereas the part of an object that's in shadow is called form shadow. Go figure. It is very useful to distinguish between form shadow and the cast shadow. The form shadow is part of an object you're drawing, but the cast shadow is the result of a projection. Light is hitting the sphere and is projecting the cast shadow onto the floor. By the way, did you know that the shape of the cast shadow is created by the shape of the terminator line? That's pretty cool and pretty nerdy, but you came here to learn, so I'm giving you everything I know. All right, these are the four basic light effects that allow us to separate light and shadow. There's form light and form shadow. And there's the terminator, which separates the two and projects the cast shadow. You can do a lot with these four, and it's important that you understand them. <laughs>